I do think the t two subjects of uh, civil political discourse and critical thinking, which is something that I've really studied for a while, or it's it's what No Labels is about. In business, you got a problem, you don't approach it with a bias because you have to solve the problem. But in, in politics, we, we approach it with the bias first and then try to fit the solution around our bias. Getting people to understand that you can make change. And it's just, if, it, if you say it's never gonna happen, then you're right, it's never gonna happen. That's, that's a part of the process of selling no labels. It really can happen. I do think there's a moment in history here. You know, sometimes things become big just because of the time. And I just sense this could be a moment in history for no labels. When you look at how ugly things are with the Republicans now, and I take it to the next level of what it's going to be like in September and October, it's going to be really ugly. And I think what we stand for is in such contrast to what we're going to see in September and October that it could be a moment that really takes us to the next level. David Nevins from the No Labels headquarters in Washington.